Yo guys, David Tran here and forgive me if I look terrible right now because I just completed my morning run and uh, there's a big storm coming up in my place where I live so I figured that I would not be able to have the normal kind of like setup lining so let me just introduce you to day number 5 of our five, 30 days of Swift challenge uh, where in 30 days I'm going to challenge myself and you guys to build 30 different iOS apps that you learn to code and build something great together and this is day number 5 we're going to complete the uh, the tip calculator oh gosh I'm still catching I'm still catching my breath uh, we are going to complete our tip calculator app and even though in the demo here I recorded yesterday I break up I break it up into two parts it's yesterday and today so that you guys can be e it will be easier for you guys to catch up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and then go I will put a link right below in the description so that you can join us in last episode you will need that to build this one the tip calculator right and then I will also give you my weekly newsletter where I send you new videos special training episodes and special videos that I only send via email so without any further to do, click the link in the description to download the episodes and download the resources, the source code for this episode. And then let's go into the demo. Hope you enjoy. Let's go back into the view controller. So when the amount before text, right? The amount before text, text field change, we want to calculate, calculate the tip. And then we also, uh, so to do that, actually, we need to make the amount before tax zero, tip percentage, let's by default is 10%, okay? Uh, so 10%, it should be 0 0.1, right? 10%, all right. Then now when the amount before tax takes field that change, we'll calculate the tip. When, when the number, the tip, the tip slider, oops, the tip slider, where is that? Where is the simulator? With the tip slider here, it, the change, we also want to calculate the tip, right? So calculate the tip. So is, and then we also want to update the value over here, the tip percentage. What we can do is tip percentage label the text to be the string with a format of tip is percentage zero to D percentage percentage. So that is, oops. Did I mess something wrong? Percentage, 0 to D, percentage, percentage. And then we do argument. Argument is D. You don't need the arguments like that. You just need the int value of T percentage label slider dot value times 100. Right, so let's run it and see how it looks like. I should hide this away. My editor. So we can, all right. Oh, so that is 10, right? So I, sh I actually shouldn't 10 times 100. So let's run it once again. All right, so it says 10%, 11, 12, 13, 14, 25, right? But uh, if we do that, so the T percentage by default, that will be, uh, all right, so yeah, that, that works, that works. So that you see that when we do it like this, update the T percentage immediately, right? Really nice, huh? Uh, all right, so next up, let's do the number of people slider to change like this. Can you try to do it yourself? Yeah, I, I would like to see you do it yourself. So try now and then we'll come back and we'll do it together, okay? All right, so this is my solution. What I do is I don't use string format like this again. I use a string interpolation, right? So we can use number of people label equals this value and then we call and calculate tip. And then when you do it like that, right, you can see that immediately. So let's me goes back into main storyboard change the split into like one 
change the tip into tip pertain percent by default, right? All right. So over here, we we'll call it calculate tip. But now the calculate tip right here, it is not like purely calculate tip. So it should be calculate the whole bill, right? So I'm going to change this name. But pay attention is that we use this method name in three places now. What happens if later on in a different project, you use a method, you call that in like hundreds of places, right? So in code, you can refactor your name. So you can right click into this, goes into refactor and then rename, right? So it was tell it will fold out like this. It says that hey, okay, you have you want to change the name of this function, this meta, and you call it in three different places like this. And pay attention if I do that into calculate, calculate bill, right? It will change immediately. And you says rename. And voila, it changed. You don't have to do anything. It's a really powerful tool. So now in our calculate build method, let's do the tip calculator dot tip percentage is tip percentage uh, label, tip percentage slider actually, percentage slider dot value. And then we do the double amount of this guy divided by 100, All right? So 25.0 or something. Then let's do the tip calculator dot amount before tax is the amount before tax tax fill dot tax. But this is a string, right? So how can we convert that into a number? Well, you can do that by firstly, I grab this, cast that as an NS string. And that string is like the class, the object of string in Objective C. And it has a lot of bell and whistle then cannot assign value ms string to type double no all right so then you call the dot double value and you have that right so this is just like the swift string value but that is in objective c it has a lot of more powerful features than the swift string and now let's do uh the tip calculator dot calculate the tips right then we also want to update the each person uh so oh by the way when we update each person let's just call update ui right and then here in update ui let's total result label the text equals to uh we just want to have the dollar sign right so, so the Let's do a string with the format is another string. We do dollar sign, we need the dollar sign and then percentage 0 0.2 F. So that we have two decimal places like that. And then we do comma and tip calculator dot total amount, All right? Let's run the app and see how it looks like. Of course, that is just one line but we'll need to do it in just a moment over here. So let's... Oh, it doesn't... All right, you see this? It changed the values, right? It changed the values. Now, I actually, I think that we connect this value is wrong. It should be value change. So let's go into main the story bar over here, right click, and then editing the change, right? Delete that. And then you will right click over here to this guy and then uh, so option key over here this is what is that right click right click and then we're going to use the uh, amount before text so here value change do like this Come on, doesn't allow us. Let's, but this thing will make the editing the change. We don't want that. Gosh. Oh, by the way, let me delete this. 
right? The default value, I think that that is the reason. Let's delete that once again. All right, so if it doesn't allow us to do so, let, uh, let's click into this at uh, connection inspector, right? And then we have value change. Let's connect over here. Insert an action. Let's call this guy amount before tax tax field change and then add the action like that okay now you see that why is it these two the same well it's not actually not the same because this text field i intentionally put that as text field capital f and this is lowercase f right cut this put that here delete this sucker like that run the app and hopefully this time we got it All right, so I think I just, uh, I know where did I made the mistake. Right click over here, you'll see that it's not value change, but it should be editing change for the text field. Drag that over there. Okay, it still works. But remember, you need to delete only previous ones. Then now when I run it once again, hopefully this thing works. Okay, here we go. So by default it's like this, All right, you see this? update immediately right pretty cool huh all right so uh don't worry about this we'll fix that um in later days okay no one eat a meal that has like hundreds of millions of dollars anyway right all right so the amount of four text text field that's good next up let's implement our uh continue implementing our update ui so that we can complete this so let's do the uh why is that the H person, right? So let's get let the number of people is an int, which is the what is that? Uh, let's have the number of people's label slider dot value. We cast that as an int. All right. Then uh, let's each person amount text that should be each person amount label okay each person amount label now hey uh, a good chance for us to do this so I know that we made a mistake with naming the IB, IB outlet here I've right? already connect that but I want to change it into IB uh, into amount label we want to change that right run it or run the app once again and see how it looks like uh, okay so this thing I will delete this first like that okay Let's run the app and see how it looks like. Here we go. Oh, it crashed. And this is a terrible crash, right? It doesn't tell us anything. There's an error over here, which doesn't make any sense. But if you scroll way up in the console, you will see way, way up here, you see terminating app due to uncaught exception. Exception is is something that will crash your app. It's kind of like an error. So it, it throw you an exception. Um, the reason my tip calculator, the project, right? Tip calculator, view controller. Okay, so it means that the project problem is somewhere in the view controller. And then set value for undefined key. All right, it doesn't make any sense, right? So it says this class is not key value coding compliant for the key each person amount. All right, so we know, so it will tells us that, all right, so uh, this slider over here, each person uh, label, this thing over here, it doesn't know. It, so this thing, when we right click here, it says each person if you use right, right here, each person amount, right? It knows that it has an outlet to your view controller of the name is each person amount. So at runtime, at runtime, it goes into this view controller. It will seek out all the IB outlet. The IB outlet in Swift doesn't mean anything, but in Xcode, it is a flag, a mark to know that this is a connection from Storyboard. So it looks for the IB outlet. And it would try to find 
that each person amount. But it doesn't find it. There's nothing here because we just changed the name here. That's why it crash. Okay. So, but we do want to change the name. What happens? Well, we want to delete this connection. Right click over here and then refer, uh, new referencing outlet. Connect that back. Each person outlet. All right. So now when you run it, it should work this time around. There we go. It works perfectly again. All right. So next half, let's implement finally our update UI. I hope that this way of sharing with you, I try to not to script this because as we're moving along, I share with you my challenge. Um, there will be a lot of things that I want to share that maybe I cannot plan those errors and plan those nuggets of debugging before in advance. Okay. So. Let's update UI. Each person label that text is the string with the format of H of oh, dollar sign, right? Percentage 0.2F. And then we do the, uh, what is that? The tip calculator dot total amount divided by the double value of number of people. Right, this guy over here, and we know this is a double, so double by double, that will be a double, right? And this format allows us to have two decimal points. So now let's run it. Hopefully, it works. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's 100. All right, so it crashed. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, so it crashed over here. Number of people slider or the split right the split it says something over here uh not this not this not that it's way way up okay so the number of slider it crash over here it means that when we cast it as an int that shouldn't be so the split one one ten yeah it works Maybe we shouldn't do a cast like that. Maybe we should do something like this. Let's do an int value like that. Okay. So the class would does it work instead of we force cast it. Okay. All right. So it works now. It works. Let's say 100, 10%. That would be 110 divided by two. That should be 55, three. All right, I like it. Yeah, really nice. So the next few things maybe you can do is add some rounded corner into this, right? Rounded corner over here, here and here. Don't do it left over here. Just left and right, left and bottom. And then some rounded corner for each of these as well. So that the consistent design is across multiple projects all right so that is the episode i hope that you enjoy it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't so that i can send you notification and put on the notification bell as well so that you have notified when new episodes like this coming out and number two is click the link in the description so you can watch the previous episode all the episodes in the 30 days challenge and then also you get my weekly newsletter the Coders Digest, where I share with you videos and training resources and source code and special things that I only share with you via email that we cannot do on this channel. So forgive me for the terrible look, but I hope that the demo went well because I did it yesterday. So bye-bye uh, and have a great, great morning, guys.